One of our viewers, Mikhail Nifyodov, is asking, what is the proven catcher generator? Proven catcher generator is an original variant of an electromagnetic oscillation generator. It can be assembled from various active components. Nowadays, it's usually built on bipolar transistors and FATs. Electron valves are used more seldom. They can be either triodes or pentodes. The device was invented in 1987 by the Soviet engineer Vladimir Brovin. It was part of the electromagnetic compass he designed. The functioning of the generator can be interpreted in several ways. I have my own opinion on this question, but first we will present the version of the author. In 1987 I decided to design a compass to help determine the cardinal points using hearing rather than vision. I imagined it as an acoustic frequency generator that changes its tone according to its position relatively to the magnetic field of the Earth. A blocking oscillator was used as the acoustic frequency generator. The oscillator was assembled according to the classical schematics, however it had a feedback circuit with a core made of a amorphous iron. The latter can alternate its magnetic conductivity at magnetic field strength comparable to the strength of Earth magnetic field. The audio compass worked according to its design. The pulse repetition rate changed fivefold with the change of this orientation. When the properties of the scheme were analyzed, there were many deviations from the normally accepted notions in its work. With the help of an oscill oscilloscope, the signals on the electrodes of the transistor were measured relatively to the positively and the negative terminals of the power supply. It was discovered that they had the same polarities. NPN transistors had positive polarity, the PNP transistor's polarity was negative. The inductance in the collector circuit had a near-zero resistance. The generator continued working even when a strong permanent magnet was brought close to its core. The magnet saturated the core. The blocking process was supposed to stop because there wasn't any transformation in the feedback circuit. There was no hysteresis in the core. I couldn't detect it with the help of Lissajou curves. The collector signal amplitude was more than five times higher than the voltage of the power supply. Here I will stop quoting the author. I want to say a few words about how the device works. When voltage is applied to the active elements, it excites high-frequency oscillations. They have the frequency of the contour formed from, by the coil in the circuit of the collector, the source or the anode, and by the wiring capacitance. There is electromagnetic re resonance within the contour. This is why the signal amplitude on the coil in the basic gate or grid circuit increases. Due to this, electromagnetic waves are irradiated. It might not be noticeable at first sight, but the inductance of the conductor between the base and the base impedance, as well as its transformer coupling with the load contour, caused the back coupling between the input and output circuits. So I told you my explanation of this precise operation. Next time we'll show you how it works.